Okay, so I wanted to talk about the last film that I've seen, and that was on, excuse me, that was on Friday, November 30th, 2012. Uh, the film was Chasing Ice, which is a documentary about global warming. And, you know, I really wanted to see this documentary after uh, viewing the, um, the trailer. I think it's a really excellent trailer for the film and really makes you want to see the film. I mean, the trailer is beautiful. The film itself is also an excellent film, you know, more so for the information than anything else. You know, it's a good film for also for some of the visuals as well. Very beautiful visuals in these, you know, stark, ice-covered landscapes in uh, several locations around the world. Um, Greenland, Iceland, Alaska, Montana. Uh, just really beautiful stuff. And, um, and you know, actually, the day I went, on Friday, that was the opening day for the film in the city. And the director was there, which is interesting, because what they're doing now for uh, certain films, when they premiere the opening day, the director is there sometimes it's, it's the opening weekend like maybe a Friday and a Saturday um, sometimes it's just one showing sometimes it's two showings I think on this particular day it was for two showings the director was going to give a talk it was very it's very interesting me personally even though I'm very much interested in the cinema I'm more interested in the creative product I often don't get a lot out of the director talks well actually that's not true I think I, for some reason it just doesn't, I'm just so used to leaving once the credits start that it's very unusual for me to hang around and, and, and take part in these director talks. And often I don't take part, I just listen. And other people have questions. One of the things is that when you talk about something like this, this is the opening day. The people that show up for the opening day are probably people that are very interested in the subject. Also, also you'll see these type of things happen during film festivals. Where they'll have the director there and these are people who actually chose this film from a whole list of films so normally you'll you'll have some interesting questions asked that make it worthwhile and there were interesting questions asked about the production of the film and how challenging it was con considering the conditions you're talking about very very cold conditions that they were working under and they talk about that in the film how uh, this affected their ability to gather information. Now just to go a little bit about the film itself, Chasing Ice is about how uh, the main character in the film, and let me just see, pull up his name real quick, um, James Balak, I think I'm pronouncing the last name correctly, uh, uh, he's a, a scientist slash photographer. I think he's a trained scientist but his main focus is fo photography because he, he's not a scientist that wants to be in a lab. He wants to get out into the world and show how the science is affecting reality out there. And he figured out that the, the most poignant visual representation of global warming today is in the melting ice in these polar regions. So that's what he does. He takes pictures of the ice and he uses that to tell the story of how these glaciers are retreating at such an alarming rate that's apparently unusual based on what we know of the science and he shows this to people so they can actually be affected by it and maybe think in as far as doing action in regards to global warming but you know action of any way that you can to try to improve the situation now it's, it's very difficult for the individual and anything you, you try to do is better than doing nothing I guess you know this film you know, thinking about other films um, that are on global warming, I can't really think of that much except another big one is Inconvenient Truth with Al Gore, which I really enjoyed. And um, I remember seeing that and really being affected by that movie. Um, more so than this one, maybe because I saw that film first, and it was the first film on global warming that I've ever seen in the theater. I'm pretty sure I've seen documentaries on uh, television or or on uh, other forms prior to that. But that was the first one I saw in the theater. 
and um, it really had a strong effect on me. This film had a lesser effect on me. Again, I think it's just because of the time difference, not because of the film itself. But overall, you know, it's very much worth seeing. Uh, the director, again, I said he did, had a talk. His parents were there, his, his mother and his father. His mother gave me a... Uh, she didn't give it to me just in, in particular. You know, she was giving it out to everybody. Uh, uh, one of the postcards. I think that's what you... You know, the postcard, little mini posters for the film. You know, and it has um, some information on it where you can contact and see what, what things that you could do or even to help get the word out on the film because it is a small production and um, I think it's mostly self-financed. Uh, but it, it did a very... I mean, one of the things about documentary, it, a lot of the techniques and things are out there and, and the materials are available for people that even do little, very small, simple documentaries about what is, what is around you. You know, maybe your city, your town, or issues that are confronting you. And if you absorb some of these te techniques, you can create a finished product that looks pretty good. This, the film that I just saw was more, uh, a more high level project, but it's something that's within the realm for everybody to do because everyone has some type of story to tell, I guess. But yeah, Chasing Ice, very good movie. I think it, based on what they said at, during the talk, I think it has a very limited run. Uh, and very limited, I mean, compared to huge blockbuster films. You know, it's slowly being rolled out. And I think it's going to actually get a, a number of uh, cities, probably all the major cities are going to get a chance to see this film. But yeah, Chasing Ice, good film. Go see it. Peace.